blowing your nose. I wish they saw that. Look who it is, yeah. everyone. Hi. <laughs> we look so much alike right now. Oh. <laughs> you look cute. It's crazy. I Okay, I just wanted her to say hi. We've been on FaceTime for a while. Goodbye vlog. Guys, my little FaceTime catch up with Lucy was so special. We literally chatted for over an hour and I feel like now, just being quarantined, we have that much that much more free time to talk to each other and it was just so nice. Like I haven't seen her since Christmas time and I miss her so bad. So that was so nice to catch up with her. But now I'm just getting ready for the day. I have a lot of work that I have to get done at my computer this morning. So that's why I have my blue light blocking glasses. You guys know these are like... I must have I can't do any work without them because I get really bad eye strain and the blue light just really bothers my eyes makes me really tired everything like that so I wanted to share with you guys I've been trying out this new skincare brand called good habit and basically they are the first skincare brand dedicated specifically to defending your skin against harmful artificial blue light so if you don't know, I'm sure you know because I know I've talked about my blue light blocking glasses for so long, but basically blue light just comes from your tablet, your iPhone, your laptop, your TV, things like that. And I know on average we're in front of our screens for 12 hours a day, which is so crazy to think about. I feel like I've just learned so much about blue light and how damaging it can be. And it can be even more damaging than like rays from the sun, like the UVA, UVB light because even though those are from the sun, you are in front of your screens for like 12 hours a day versus you might be in the sun for like an hour or two. So just because we're in front of our screens for so long, and I know an hour in front of your screens is the same as being in the sun for 15 minutes unprotected. So if you think about it, like 12 hours a day in front of your screens with no protection is like three hours unprotected in the sunlight. So again, it can just be really damaging for your skin. So I'm so happy I found out about Good Habit, you guys. I'm just going to be using, I already started off with clean skin, so I'm going to be using their serum and a moisturizer to follow up. This is the Rescue Me Glow Potion Oil Serum. So, yeah, I already started it off with clean skin. I'll take these off so that <laughs> you can see. Um, and I really like just how moisturizing this is. I would start, I really like their micellar gel for just removing my makeup, but again, I'm starting off with clean skin already, so... I'll use this like at night and then this is the exfoliating toner and again I just have like really dry skin right now so I'm just going to stick with a serum in the moisturizer. Basically this is how the serum goes. Oh and before I forget to tell you guys you can use my code Gretchen for 10% off of Good Habit. I will have them linked down below and yeah I would totally recommend you guys especially if you are in front of your screens all day long like me. I'm just so happy knowing that i uh, and protecting my skin around protecting my skin from something that can be even more damaging than the sun since I literally I am like making the average higher I swear I feel like I'm on my screen like for 15 hours a day even okay here's the moisturizer that we're following up with I like that it's more of like a gel consistency and it's fun that it's like a light blue color you can like remember that it's protecting your skin from the blue light so I like I've been liking using this in the morning because I feel like during the day all the work that I do on my computer and my phone I feel like I'm just really protected that way so I like putting it on really thick I know I probably look like slicky but I like it being on there so thick because then my skin just soaks it all up because like I said my skin is so dry so thank you so much good habit for working with me on this video you guys know that I am such a big fan and I'm just so happy that I've really been taking into consideration all that blue light can be damaging for my skin and for my body and I like that it can just prevent damage from happening reduce you know the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles reduce like dark spot dark spots it really can help brighten your skin so I would say my go-to like my must-haves if you were to get anything would be the glow potion oil serum and the water jelly dew cream because like I said I have dry skin from the millionth time so I just like that it can be really moisturizing and again just protect my skin from all the blue light that I'm exposing to it daily so again you guys can use my code Gretchen to get 10% off your first order on good habits and I will have it linked down below and now we have lots of videos to edit and work to attend to happy saturday i feel like my hair is looking so crazy and fluffy right now and who else is with me and just can't 
wait until we can get our hair done again with a hairdresser. Like, my roots are awful. Also, I always realize when I vlog that, like, I'll put on Laneige all over my lips, but then, like, it'll look like it's all around my mouth. So sorry if that happens sometimes. Taking my vitamins. Thought I would show you. This would keep me accountable. And I've been better because I put the dispenser, like, right next to my toothbrush. So I, like, can't forget it in the morning. And I also took a new quiz because um, I took my lifestyles changed and I'm taking all these vitamins. So that's fun. If you guys care, I can talk about it in, like, another video. But I don't know if you care. Look at how pretty. Like, hang on. <laughs> See, they're, like, different colors. Isn't that fun? I feel like I haven't taken, like, pink and purple ones before. Now it's like five or six at once. All right, me and Max are going to get coffee right now. If you can hear Chase is teaching, I feel like I'm always vlogging when she's teaching. Um, I just put like moisturizer and sunscreen all over my face. I feel like the lighting, like I look pale in here right now, but I feel like maybe this is better. I feel like I did get some sun yesterday because it was so sunny and nice out, and I think today I will too. So. I just put like 40 SPF all over my face because I feel like some people think that I don't wear SPF but like I am taking care of my skin. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, now we are just going to go get coffee. You guys are at a funny angle right now but I just wanted to show you. Max helped pick out my outfit and um, I thought that this would work. I was like, oh, give me baby tea. We call this baby tea because he says it looks like it would fit a baby. <laughs> and I guess you're right because these don't go together. Ready? Like I thought the shorts would go up higher or the shirt would go longer because a lot of my stomach is showing these are just lulu shorts with this little <laughs> rinsey top so feeling kind of naked but i have a sweatshirt i can put on <laughs> guys max is so cute i'm gonna scream oh and by by the way when i said i'm going to get coffee or like we're going to get coffee i meant him because i'm not but i just thought it was really cute because i was trying to show max um Lauren Oshie's story of TJ with their new son. Their new son. Well, he is new. <laughs> he was recently born. Rich bottom. <laughs> with their new son. And it was a really cute story. And he goes, oh, I thought it was baby sis. And I was like, who's baby sis? And he was like, you know baby sis. Come on, think. I'm like, who in the heck is he talking about baby sis? And then I was like, wait, he's talking about Cove. <laughs> he's talking about Cove. When you watch too much Aspen and Parker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make Max watch Aspen and Parker with what me. What is wrong with me? <laughs> he goes, <laughs> I thought that was baby sis. Because <laughs> that's what they call Co. <laughs> also, I have to show them something. Show, show them your haul. Give them your haul. I have to show them this. <laughs> I was going to say I'm on a mission. <laughs> he don't let me have any. You can have one sip. I want one sip. Then you're banned for life again. Good. He's some banned from life for him buying me coffee. Because, like, yesterday he bought me coffee. And, and she didn't I, even drink it. I had, like, two sips. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just not in the mood. Like, today I'm not. So I didn't want a coffee. I just want, like, a sip of yours. You know? But, like, some days I'm in the mood and, like, I know I could drink a full one. Or at least half. <laughs> Haunting, fishing, loving every day. <laughs> we were just jamming out to Luke Bryan on the way back. Probably gonna but, have to edit that out. But, Might be copyright issue. They probably think I am Luke. I don't think so. You don't think I don't so? Think <laughs> <laughs> oh, we weird. like love, I just love him so much. He um, just is the best. And we are just so blessed. I got to go to two of his concerts. I think you did Me too. too. Me I just, too. Wait, weren't we at the same one together, the first one? No, I think or it was different. You went to Gillette and I yeah. went to Fenway? Yeah. Okay. Well, we've both been to two and we're obsessed. Like, I would go to one tonight Again. if I could. Yeah. Oh, the way he dances in this past one at, um, hey, hey, at Gillette. Hey, hey, easy. <laughs> get any ideas. You said that you like the way he dances. I'm allowed to like the way he dances. You're not. You're supposed to like the way I dance. <laughs> I love the way you dance. Thank you. And um, Gronk was there, yeah. and they were on stage together. They were, like, taking shots. It was so fun. Yeah. And they were, like, throwing the football. And, oh, but 
we could talk about Luke Bryan all day long. But Max said, show them your haul. So you're probably like, what haul? We went to CVS quick because I ran out of makeup remover wipes. And PSA to all of you, if you use the wipes that are this color from Target, I think they're just the Up and Up brand, like the Target brand. Um, if you guys remember when we did, that video feels like forever ago when we did cheap versus expensive, like, taste test or mm -hmm. whatever. And we had to see, um, like, what was expensive and what was cheap. Anyway, so I had those makeup wipes and I'm like obviously I'm gonna use them I hate them they're awful do not get them <laughs> they literally do not work like these ones work so well and so I've been trying to use them and they're like sandpaper on my face they rub it around they don't get it like off is it just me do you guys like those I hate them and they're terrible so Sorry to bad those ones, but they're just not good. What I did find out though yesterday when I was using them, I dipped it in my lotion a little bit. Ooh. And then it got it off. Like then it worked. So maybe okay. I would just like use them up so that they don't go to waste. But anyway, I had to get new ones because I was just freaking out. Those were just not cutting it. And then look what else I got. I don't know if this is like a complete waste of money or not, but it kind of sold me. The display it looked cool. And you guys know I've been doing my own nails, obviously. Can you see these? Yeah. And it was saying that this is like an Essie gel. So it's like, I think you do the pink one first. I just picked out this pretty like Yes, yeah, so it says step one on it and step two. Oh. <laughs> they all... make it very simple <laughs> for you. All my nail polishes are literally this color. <laughs> all I think. But then I guess the gel... Maybe it'll make it like liquid gel like you get at the nail salon and maybe it'll stay longer. So maybe I'll try this later. But you say you really want to try painting my nails? Nah, it's alright. <laughs> you keep saying that you want to. <laughs> and I'm like, it's going to be terrible. No, no I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my haul, everybody. My hair looks crazy. Did we get some color? Yeah. You guys, I just laid in the sun for a bit. Not me. And Max did a workout outside, but I feel like you still got color because you were like outside in the sun. Yeah. Um, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna insert right here. This is me tanning, some cute footage. It's really sunny and really nice out. And I just showered, which is funny. I think I never shower before a workout, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm gonna shower right after, but I had sunscreen on. Don't worry, I had all my SPF on, and so I needed to like shower, and I feel like I put on the cutest little outfit. This is from Aloe, you guys saw I recently got a sports bra. Oh, and then these leggings I also recently got, they were in my most recent haul video. These are Lululemon Aligns, they're like a pretty pink color. And I know you're not really supposed to spin in the lines, but too bad, I'm gonna. And then Why aren't you this little top from to? Aloe. Because they're really like thin and soft material and really sweaty, like high intensity workouts. It's just like not good for. Well, why? Because it drips through, it gets like drenched. Well, yeah, I feel like any leggings are like that, but it can just kind of like wear down the leggings more. Oh. Like it's like not meant for Didn't that. Like that. you're supposed to wear more like, they're like luxe stream material. Yeah, like, or the Everlux, like the like ones spandexy. I was running in. Yeah. Ones that are like actually made for it. These are more for like lounge or like low intensity yoga. Sometimes I spin in them anyway. And you know what? I think it's okay because Tori has her own spin studio and is a spin instructor. And she spins in the lines all the time because she loves them and how they fit and feel. So, yes. That's what's going to happen soon. And Max is going to pick up a sub. But I like didn't want that since I want to work out in a little bit. So, I might make a little daily harvest because they're like little sizes like i know i have like a broccoli um little grain bowl one i think there's an oats one which i still haven't tried their oats so i know that might be weird to have for lunch but you might do that for lunch because i like having oats before i work out max is eating his sub right now and i am just making this daily harvest harvest bowl i was gonna do oats but then i've had this like twice before and i really liked it so i thought it was a little more normal here's all the ingredients and i'm also gonna add some frozen brown rice well i'm gonna cook it so it's not gonna be frozen i'm just gonna do a little bit of this so it's a little more filling and then i'll save the rest max is done with his but mine just got done cooking he couldn't wait here it is it looks kind of crazy but it's gonna be good. so yummy that was really anticlimactic you guys i didn't even vlog but i thought i would show you oh this is perfect my little setup i just finished my 45 minutes and yeah even though i'm not riding with you anymore i thought i would just show you isn't it fun that i'm out here in the sunshine 
<laughs> this is funny angle right now, but this was me a couple minutes ago. Did my like 45 minutes ish. I did like a country ride. It's on my Spotify. That's always linked in the description in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, it's just the one that says country ride and it was really fun to just like ride the country music and I was in the mood since I was just listening to country music when I was like laying in the sun and yeah, at first I started with this shirt on because it was kind of cold with the breeze but it was like hot because the sun was on my back, you know? So then I took it off and now I'm like cold again because I stopped moving but yeah, that was just really fun to do outside. I feel like I didn't sweat as much as I normally do since when I'm inside it gets like really toasty um, and I'm like dripping in sweat but since I had like a breeze and stuff it was kind of nice <sighs> yeah okay I'm gonna shower and continue drinking my water for anyone that's wondering about my water goal intake of trying to drink four of these every day I'm on number three right now so I'm really proud of myself because I just have to finish this and one more before bedtime and I'll be golden Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. We won't talk to Max too much right now because it's before he's had his coffee. So I don't want him to- in great mood. I don't want him to be snippy with us. No, he won't be. Um, but I want to address the obvious. What the frick is going on with my face? <laughs> if you guys remember, or if you watched any of my vlogs when I- Are those your breaks? I think they are. Yeah, they are. They just gotta get more. Because I up. think that happens with mine too. Do your guys' brakes do that when you first start driving your car? Yeah, Cause mine get like that too. Oh yeah, now they're good. But they squeak at first. Yeah. You gotta get the dust off, I think. The lighting keeps changing. I need to find like a good spot, but you guys can clearly see it's so weird. I get them in the exact same spots. If you watch my Bahamas vlogs, after the first day I woke up. And I had these like two red patches on my face and I was like literally what the heck is going on And my mom was like it must be a rash from the Sun and I'm like, okay So I just put extra sunscreen on them, but they stayed like the whole time I was in the Bahamas and then Sorry about that <laughs> and then um when I got home, it like went away after a little while, but then I was just talking to Max's mom about it and she was like, do you think it's like sunscreen that you put on your face? Cause she was like, I think my face is sensitive and can get weird with like certain face sunscreens. But I use like a sunscreen for my face. Um, so I don't really know. Do you guys have any ideas? And you wanna know what this reminds me of Max? They're kind of like dry. Um, Remember when eczema? I, I yeah had really bad eczema on my chin? Do you guys remember that? I almost forget now because it's been a little while, but it was like so bad mm -hmm. for like a year or like nine months or something. Like I feel like it really started not this March, but March of 2019 and went through like December or January. Like I had it for so long and then I feel like it just stopped happening <laughs> i don't know and i never saw a dermatologist or anything because it would get better with my eczema mm -hmm. creams that i would get at cvs and then it would like get worse and i don't know but this is all to say that sorry i don't know what's going on i'm sure the worst thing i can do for it is like put makeup on it but i will probably put makeup on it because no. i hate the way it looks why do you need to put makeup on because i hate the way it looks you won't be seeing anybody. I am so you seeing don't you. It. I feel splotchy. And you're beautiful without it, so <laughs> I say no to the makeup today. <laughs> you guys, I get woken up like a princess every morning. Sometimes I wake Max up, but um, Very a lot of times, rarely. Uh, yeah, a lot of times he wakes me up. And he was so sweet this morning. He was like, "You look so beautiful when you sleep," and I was like, "Oh." You look like a log. <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful, beautiful log. <laughs> like, literally doesn't move an inch. <laughs> you could tell we slept like rocks last night because usually our sheet, our top sheet is like a mess. It's everywhere. Yeah, we all toss and like turn so on the much. Floor. And this morning when I was making the bed, it was still just perfectly flat. That's so I could so just funny. do the top sheet and the comforter at, at the, the same, same time. time. Wait, that's so funny because do you guys sleep like that? Like I feel like we both toss and turn so much and we both we were talking about this last night. We like when our feet hang out a little bit because we like being um like 
warm under the blankets but not too warm like that our feet are hot so we both like stick our feet out but then we kind of will like sometimes put a leg out and like i don't know yeah we toss and turn a lot so our blankets get all messed up but if we go to bed like late and are really tired <laughs> we like slept like logs like i don't even remember falling asleep you know and most nights i like have a hard time falling asleep but yeah anyway good morning this is a long intro clip max is getting his coffee max is getting suited up to go get his <laughs> coffee and i wanted to show them i brought my little caffeine energy bar so that i wouldn't feel left out because i don't really want a coffee so i'm just gonna have this you know mm -hmm. <laughs> coffee acquired well now i don't even need to drink any and i'm busy your verb yeah you know what oh look at this line oh my gosh and yeah. it's because it's just Sunday, I feel like. Yeah. It's Sunday oh, morning. It's actually not that bad. The Jedi Joe's is so long. It could be worse. Yeah, it's been worse. Mm -hmm. I think the salty peanut butter has now taken my top favorite spot Wait, on the list of my favorites. I just ate it all. They're little. Sorry, dude. You didn't say for me. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Rude. Um, but maple blueberry was my favorite. I like ate all of those when I first got them. And now the salted peanut butter is just so peanut buttery, and I just love peanut butter. Yeah, you so just I love think peanut butter anything, I think. Yeah, you're right. But who you, doesn't, really? You could give me like dog kibble with a scoop of peanut butter, and I would eat it. Dog kibble. <laughs> Vlog, you're probably wondering, Gretchen, why are you wearing that blue tie dye suit every day in every vlog? Well, let me tell you, because it's very cozy, <laughs> okay? And, um,. Yeah, why would I wear real clothes when I'm not really doing anything or seeing anyone? So, this is my cozy work from home outfit. Oh, whenever I look back at these clips, I'm like, my freaking skin is so weird that it's doing this. Like, why? Can that please go away? But, I think I need a snack soon. <laughs> is anyone else like this when they do work? They're like, find a million other reasons or things they could do. They're like, oh, I could really use a snack or like some water. Go for a walk. See my work buddy who's been helping me. Hi. Getting distracted. You look cute in this moment. That's why I wanted to record. Thank you. You I'm and trying. your your buddy next to you. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to plan out what furniture is gonna fit in our apartment, but it's hard because we're not there, and I don't know exactly what layout we're getting mm -hmm. in the building that we're in, and that's all sorts of confusing. We'll and what wood is going to look okay with the floors? Uh, and because I'm looking at the furniture online, is it going to be cheap? Is it going to break? Is it going to fit? I don't know. Okay. Literally just looked at furniture for so long. And at first I was like, this is a good idea. I'm like planning. And then I'm just so easily overwhelmed that it made me so overwhelmed. and feel like I'm never going to know what furniture we really need or what's going to fit until we get there but then I feel like stuff takes so long to ship and I don't want to be there without furniture for so long during the hockey season so we'll see I need to chill out I'm going to go for a run because I need some movement and exercise and it will make me feel a million times better I did feel way better after my run. I knew I would get some fresh air. It's good to see my little red dots are still there. You know, I need to just stop worrying about them. They make me me. They'll go away on if their you, own. <laughs> if you didn't know if it was really me, now you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I gotta put my cereal away. <laughs> Max had a cereal snack. His favorite is Cinnamon Toast Crunch about to do a little yoga and I wore my little free ew I'm so sweaty my little free people top over under my sweatshirt and now I'm gonna throw on the matching leggings for yoga. So good. Thanks for doing it with me. Mm -hmm. And I being feel a good relaxed. sport. Don't you? And I just love how it makes me feel so like limber. Is that the mm -hmm. right word? Yeah. Like loose, stretched pliable. out. 
pliable. Yeah, pliability. Like loose. That sounds like pliables <laughs> in Boston, like the acai bowls. But that was so good. If you're wondering, we literally just search on YouTube like 30 minute yoga, whatever. So that's what that was. And yeah. I'm feeling much better. I always feel better after I work out. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm all clean now. I think the last thing you guys saw was yoga and then and then we had tacos for dinner and they were so good. Right, Max? Right. So good. And I just feel so much better that I showered. I washed my hair. I feel like it dries kind of puffy, but um, that's okay. And I painted my nails. I took off all my nail polish. I was getting a little crusty with some nail polish remover. And I painted my nails with that new like gel system that I found at CVS. <gasps> oh my gosh, if that just like exploded everywhere, that would have been so terrible. <laughs> Here it is. So basically, it was just on my way out of CVS and I was convinced. It's like the prettiest light pink color and then you just put the white gel on top so i don't really know how it's like gel nails like it must be like a gel top coat or something and um it's probably supposed to make it like stay longer so i'll keep you guys updated on if it makes it stay like a really long time but i'm just obsessed with this color like all my nail colors are kind of this color just like a really really light white ish pink like a light opaque pink color oh i'm so obsessed they look so good and I'm getting so good at doing my nails on my own. Like, I am just going to save all the time and the money. I feel like when nail salons open back up and just do mine sometimes. Like, probably I'll still go sometimes just for, like, fun, treat yourself, that kind of thing. But, like, I feel like they're so nice right now. And now, I wish we could make, like, cinnamon rolls. But we don't have those. And I want to make cookies, but Max doesn't want to take the time to make the dough. You're watching a puppy video. Mm -hmm. A golden pup. Mm. Good boy. Oh my god, he's so cute. Mm -hmm. This is what quarantine consists of us looking at puppy videos. But guess what we're about to watch? What? Billions. Oh, yeah. Wait, what is it actually called? Billions. Billions. So I don't know if we've told them about that yet. First, I wanted to tell them about how you've been loving um, Michael Jordan. And I feel like I've just seen some of your episodes you've been watching, like here and there, like parts of them. But it's so interesting and I love it too. So I kind of want to start over from the beginning and then you can like rewatch it with me or something. Because mm -hmm. um, it's so good. And then we've been wanting to start Billions because Max's mom was telling us about it and that it's really good so we want to start that i don't know if i like need a dessert max thinks that he's too full from tacos but i really could make a dessert i just keep thinking about furniture today can i stop worrying like it's so far away and now i'm just like worried because i feel like did i say this already or i'm having deja vu i was saying this to max's mom at dinner how basically I'm just stressed on getting like night for <laughs> night furniture, nice furniture because we don't know like how long we'll be in one place, and if it's like just for hockey season, you know, and then we have to move it, Max. Like, where is it even gonna go? Mm -hmm. And if we like spend a lot of money on it, and like how much we need, and if it's gonna fit, and then if we get nice stuff that we really like, again, like I don't know, paying for movers to like move it all, and just I don't know. So I need to just stop worrying about it though, because it's kind of like far away and I like make things an issue that are like not an issue yet you know what I mean I'm gonna go look at my dessert options how about that mm -hmm. what do you think? there's probably some um swimmers in there oh we love our Scandinavian, Scandinavian. swimmers from Trader Joe's those are so good or um uh I, I could do just like vanilla with cookie butter you guys know that I love that I want to tell them that I've been having the craziest dreams with no melatonin you guys you know I have my Ollie sleep vitamins here and if I'm really having trouble I'll take them but I try to not take them that much anymore because a lot of you guys say that you have like crazy dreams from them and I don't want to get I don't know if you can get like dependent on it but I just like being able to sleep obviously without them so I just take these once in a while but I love them and I feel like they really help me fall asleep and also from Care Up, I want to show you guys. I got Dream Team on the go sleep support. Basically, it's just like these little um, 
what are they taste like max pixie sticks mm -hmm. that's what they taste like and you literally it's just like yummy sugary powder but i guess there's melatonin in there and we took them the other night and i feel like those really help too but everyone's like Gretchen you're having all these crazy nightmares and dreams and stuff because of melatonin but let me tell you that I haven't taken melatonin in like a week and I had like the craziest nightmare last night and I don't know it's like so disorienting and I wake up and I feel like that's reality even though it's not and I'm like where am I who are you what's going on is anyone else like having that I don't really know yeah so that's weird is anyone else having like weird dreams? Maybe it's just because it's like a high stress time, like high anxiety time, just like in quarantine. I saw a comment on my YouTube video I liked and it was like, reminder that you aren't yourself during a national or international pandemic. And I was like, you know what? That's a good reminder. Like, it's okay that everyone's acting a little scared or different because of the circumstances, you know? Good morning. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I've been looking and more home decor and also what i'm doing is like measuring like i want to know if a 7 by 10 rug makes sense for our room so i'm like pulling up the dimensions of the room that i think we're gonna have and like measuring on each side but also how much is gonna hang out on the bed that we're gonna get if it's gonna run into our nightstands or if we get a dresser at the end of it but you know what i mean like there's so much to take into consideration so i'm planning also i said i'm gonna go look at the desserts and then i didn't and I think this will just be our dessert. Mm -hmm. Is this your second bowl today? Third? Okay. <laughs> he loves cinnamon toast crunch. This is Max's lunch today. We ate breakfast at like 11.30 or something confusing. So then, did I even have any snack until dinner? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And then we just had dinner at 6. I hate when I eat like twice a day like that. But I feel like that ends up happening in quarantine a lot. I think I need a bite. Oh yeah. If you couldn't tell, Max just fell asleep for maybe like an hour <laughs> while I was looking at stuff. Okay. You just get so sleepy and cozy, don't you? Who for an hour? Uh, I don't know. Half an hour, 40 minutes. Mm. Good morning, you guys. It is now Monday morning, but I never ended off the vlog last night, and I just felt like finishing off this morning and chatting with you guys. Max just got me coffee from Nirvana, and it's funny because I... I'm pretty sure in the beginning of this vlog I was like, oh, I normally just eat my caffeine bars, but some days I'm in the mood for a coffee. I'll probably be like bouncing off the walls later and like anxiety nation, but it just tastes really good. So I just get the little, the little size from Nirvana. Oh, it tastes so good some mornings, but I have to be like in the mood, you know? Um, right now I'm just going to get ready. I think my hair looks like it's getting so long. This reminds me of like high school YouTube me. Um, and it just had hair down to like my hips, but I would just refuse to get it cut. And it was really stringy and just bad because I washed it every day, straightened it every day. Was always using heat on it and now I'm a lot better with that as I'm about to cut my hair. <laughs> but um, yeah, wow. I'm just realizing how long it looks, especially since I'm wearing like this little crop tank tuck. You can see like how long it looks. But I plan on doing a like chit chat get ready with me video soon because I've been wanting to do that for so long now. I feel like some of you guys have requested it in comments and stuff. And so I'm going to save that video to show you like how I curl my hair and stuff because I feel like that's a question I get a lot too. Whenever I post pictures on Instagram with my curled hair that literally takes me like maybe four or five minutes with my curling iron. Um, everyone's like, oh my gosh, did you go to blow out? And I'm like, no, it literally took me five minutes. And I have a curling iron that maybe was like $15. So it's like very simple over here. So I'm going to save that video to show you what I do. Um, so I'm going to do that quick off camera. But then I want to tell you guys, and of course it's at the end of this video, but I'll say it again in the chit chat get ready with me video about the new way I've been doing my makeup because I've been wanting to tell you guys about that. I talked about it in like a vlog how I learned on TikTok, lol, about like a new way to do my makeup, but I've really been liking it. I feel like it looks really like dewy and fresh, um, but I never said what it was because I like forgot, but now it's just in my head and I remember because I do it like every day. So I'm going to turn on my country playlist, curl my hair, and I'm done curling my hair. I feel like it's a little bit more tighter than I usually make it, but it will fall out. I like doing my curls first too and then do my makeup because then they kind of fall out a little bit more. I might even brush through them because 
basically what happened is I feel like I put my curling iron on 400 and usually I put it on 380 so I feel like that made it a little bit tighter and I was just so into what I was listening to that I feel like I was holding it on the barrel longer and like had smaller sections when usually um I just do like a couple sections on each side anyway what I want to say I guess because now if you're here at the end you're really a loyal a loyal subscriber I've never talked about call or daddy ever on my channel so this is so funny right now and it's so like not me, you know? Like I remember the first time I listened, I was just like, oh my God, turn that off. Like this is way too much for me. But then when my friend was like, Gretchen, no, like I know it can be like a lot, but just listen, cause it's so funny. Like sometimes they tell the funniest stories. And so I've listened to like a couple episodes here and there and I would be like bursting out laughing when they say funny stuff. Anyway, oh, and it's funny cause I went to be with Alex. She was, I wanna say a junior when I was a freshman or a senior when I was a freshman. So we were either there for a year or two together and I would always see her in um, our, what's it called? Like weight room, like, um, why can't I think of it? It was basically like the physical therapy, like athletic training area. That's where it's here, in athletic training because I, whenever I was dealing with like rowing injuries and she was on the soccer team. So I always remember like being in athletic training with her, which is so random. And I was like, who's that girl with like really nice blonde hair? That's like my memory of her. She had like really blonde hair and I thought it was really pretty. Anyway, so that's kind of funny. Um, but I'm, the reason I'm listening is because Max came in right before I started curling my hair and he was mowing the lawn and he was like, Gretchen, I'm listening to like, um, the most recent episode, like the president of Barstool comes on and like tells everything that happens. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to listen because he was telling me yesterday that like Twitter, I don't have, well, I do have Twitter, but I don't go on it like ever. Um, so I like don't know what's going on right now. So probably all of you watching know what's going on more than me. And Max was telling me yesterday, he was like, oh my gosh, like all this stuff is going down with the caller daddy girls and like bar stool and stuff so yeah basically i'm really fake because i don't even listen to their podcasts really but i'm listening to the most recent one it's called daddy speaks but it's i think it's just i don't think they're on it i think it's just the president talking about what happened and it's like big tea time it's so crazy like listening to it i'm like halfway through right now am i halfway through or just in the beginning See, I do my hair quick oh yeah i'm just through like the first quarter and everything that he's saying like i feel kind of bad for them like i get it Everything he's saying, like, when he first signed them as a company, or as, like, Barstool as a company, when they first, like, bring someone on, and they're talk he's talking all about how he, like, needed the intellectual property of their podcast, like, the name, so that they couldn't just, like, go somewhere else, and he's like, if you were, like, a professional athlete, you wouldn't, um, you know, go sign with the Red Sox, and then after a year, be like, oh my gosh, I'm amazing, like, the Yankees will pay me more I'm gonna go here you can't you have to finish out your contract so that kind of makes sense but anyway this is funny that I'm talking about it right now but I just like feel bad for them is what I'm saying so anyway my hair is done I'm gonna let it fall out a little bit and I'm gonna use my moisturizer the good habit one and just get a little bit of that because this is the order that I do my makeup now ready so I like that I have my little blue light protection i'm also noticing my little red patches that you guys saw i feel like they're going away yay but i noticed they're kind of like flaky and dry i feel like they're just really like dry skin if you guys get that in the sun let me know but basically i learned this from tiktok and you like everything that you know about the order of makeup to be true just like throw it out the window because i don't know this girl does it this way and it always turns out really cool so i feel like i just put a lot on but do the moisturizer and then what you're gonna do next oh, what did i get in my eye then what you're gonna do next this is gonna sound weird and i actually probably do it wrong she does a little bit of translucent powder okay bear with me a little bit of translucent powder i don't have any here with me so i'm just gonna use my little CoverGirl one this is clean matte buff beige 525 so i just do a little of this because i don't have translucent like i just said for the morning time i think i do embossing just not here oh my god i think there's an eyelash in my eye don't you hate when that happens and your eyeballs being like stabbed okay anyway little tiny bit like literally you can barely see it and you just like dust it around your face lightly i feel like i don't even get it everywhere i just kind of there okay then next you do a setting spray and I actually didn't have one, but when I ordered from Sephora, I was like, I used to love the all-nighter setting spray. So I ordered a little mini one to see if I like it. I remember I used to use this like in the beginning of YouTube days, and I loved it. And so I needed a setting spray to be able to try this makeup hack, and I really like it. So moisturizer, 
little bit of translucent powder or normal powder if you mean don't have translucent powder i don't know if that like defeats purpose but that's just what i've been doing then setting spray i always do i feel like i do way too much okay now my face is usually pretty slick so we let it dry i think she said that in the tiktok this is like a random girl. I don't even know who it is. It just came up on my thing. So you let it dry. Probably all of you know this already. I feel like this like went viral. Okay. You let it dry. Then you're going to use a primer. I love my professional primer. I think I also used it in the beginning of my YouTube days. And then it like got away from me. And now I'm back with a professional primer. And then I always use the A Cosmetics CC Cream for like when I do a foundation. This is pretty full coverage actually for being a CC cream. And I feel like now my face is in that tan because I always wear like 40 SPF on my face um, when I'm outside to protect. But when my body's tan and I wanna match, sometimes I'll add some of the, sorry Chase is teaching right now if you can hear that. I'll add the tan color because this is like definitely darker than I am right now but this might be a little light so I kind of mix them together this is the tan this is the light medium oh and they're different packagings because this one is just the normal and this is the matte one the blue one is um okay so now I think we're all dry and then <laughs> I just thought I would tell you the order but now I guess I'm like doing it with you I just get a little bit on my finger rub it around oh I can't wait to listen to the rest of this barstool episode i'm literally such a big fan because um i need to like go back and listen to more of their episodes but yeah it's a little bit too like rated r for me i'm like i mean i'm 23 but i feel like a child on the inside so yeah some of the episodes that i listen to i'd have to like turn off i'd be like this is like <laughs> too much for me um okay so we did that and then, I guess I won't even do this with you. I'll just do it off camera because, like, do you even care? And I'm going to do it in my chit chat. Get ready with me video, like I said a million times. And then, you do this on top, your little foundation. And I feel like it makes it look so flawless. And because you did the powder already and, like, the primer and stuff and the setting spray and the moisturizer, <laughs> I feel like you don't have to set it with the powder after. She never really said that in the video, so I don't know if some people do. Maybe you do. But I noticed that, I mean, I feel like I get a little more, like, dewy and shiny looking than when I would set with powder on top of it because it's just, like, the liquid and I, the only powder I really put on top is, like, blush and bronzer. Like, I feel like I always put powder on top to set or make it more, like, matte looking, but I don't when I do it this way. But I like it because I feel like it looks really, like, dewy and glowy and stuff. So, anyway, this is a long end to my weekend vlog. Thank you guys. Oh, my God, it's fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just thought this would be a fun little concluding segment. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.